فتلقى آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم عند جامع البيان في تفسير القرآن جامع البيان في جامع البيان في تفسير القرآن حدثني موسى عن هارون قال حدثنا عمر بن حماد قال حدثنا أصباط عن السديق تلقى آدم من ربه كلمات قال رب ألم تخلقني بيدك؟ قال له بلى، قال ونفخت في من روحك؟ قال له بلى، قال وسبقت رحمتك غضبا؟ قال قيل له بلى، قال رب هل كنت كتبت هذا علي؟ قيل له نعم، قال رب إن كنت وأصلحت هل أنت راجع إلى الجنة؟ قيل له نعم. So the question is if uh, so we know that we, the human being is مخير وليس مسير ولكن the question is if God has written everything on us. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. He knows everything. Yeah. The past, the future, the present, everything. Yeah. So why we have to be judged for what the sins that we have committed, but it is already written on us. There's no contradiction between the two. If Allah has written something, because what is the Qadr? Qadr is four levels. Four levels. Al-Khalq, Al-Ilmu, Wal-Kitabatu, Wal-Khalq, Wal-Ija, No, 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 والمشيئة. So there's four levels. Allah know, uh, knowing it before it happens. Allah has written the preserved tablet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creating it and Allah allowing it subhanahu wa ta'ala willed it. There's no contra contradiction between the two. You understand? So Allah knowing something is going to happen doesn't mean that Allah forced you to do it. You understand? For example, we can see clearly that to show you the justice, justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay, Allah has written, imagine someone's going to come um, force you to insult Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu uh, uh, So someone is going to come with a gun and he says, if you don't insult Prophet Muhammad, I'm going to kill you. He's forcing you, yes? Would Allah judge you for that? But Allah has written it. Yes. If Allah has written it, doesn't mean whatever Allah has written is going to judge us. So there are some actions, clearly, that Allah has shown you justice. Why? Because you've been forced to, okay? You've been forced to, you didn't do it based upon your own Mashi'a, yeah. as Amma ibn Yasser, yes? Likewise now, if now you don't have true the, the, the... So not everything that Allah has written, therefore Allah will judge us. Allah is going to judge us the actions that we're going to do based upon our will, based upon our choice, based upon likewise, to show you that Allah justice, to show you there is no oppression in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is a uh, judgment, yeah. For example, now I don't know drinking alcohol is haram. For example, I'm a new Muslim, I don't know alcohol is haram. Ikhwah, don't record him. Please, barakallahu fikum. Yeah. So now if I do if, if, if I drink alcohol, I don't know it's haram, I drink it. Would Allah judge me for it? No. Alcohol is haram, but I've done it based upon my own choice, but where is ignorance, so I've been excused. So you can see uh, the, 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 not everything because Allah has written it, Therefore, Allah judging us for it. There is like contradiction. There's no contradiction between the two. Thank you very much for yes. the answer. But uh, um, if I can continue with the, with the I said, I said, Amin. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you are welcome. I can continue with the questions. Yeah. Mm. So, so also it says that. Uh, in, in another uh, sentence. I don't know. To be honest, I can't step because I have to check the narration. Yes, yes. So we cannot. We cannot. Uh, uh, I don't know the narration. I, I, I don't know the extent of the narration. Yeah, Allah has written everything. Just keep it simple. Allah has written everything. Yes, so Allah has written everything. Everything, yeah. Everything has been written. No doubt also about that. Also, our sins has been written. That we your good deeds, your sins, answer. yeah, everything. Again, the question is that I'm trying to find the answer, but I cannot find it. Why yeah, but are you trying to find the answer that satisfy you? Because, yeah. uh, uh, see, there's a problem. Is, why is yes. the pro Do you know why? For example, now, why I said that is a problem? Yeah. Now, some people maybe the answer will not satisfy him. Doesn't mean it's wrong answer. Of course. Absolutely, yeah. So absolutely. use satisfaction for the answer. It doesn't make it right or wrong. Absolutely. You understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we know, we go back to that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has written everything. There is no contradiction between the two. Yes. Allah has written everything. You do an action based upon your will. Okay. Upon my will, but it also has been written. That so I what's the problem? I will do it. Okay. If Allah has not written it, yes. would Allah know it? If Allah never wrote it in the preserved tablet, yes. would Allah know you're going to do sin? 
He knows. Allah, so what's the problem with that? So if he has not written it, but he knew you're going to do sin, yes. would that be a problem as well? No. Of course not. So what is the problem? So you try to dictate to Allah. Now, I'm not no, saying you. No, astaghfirullah. Yeah. But listen to this, yeah? So what we're doing now, that's why, you know, certain things people try to utilize to have a problem with Allah or try to reject or to have a doubt is that we want to dictate to Allah what he should do with his creation, how he should create and how he should be. Uh, now, Allah know it. Now Allah wants to write it in a preserved tablet. Who can stop him? Who can stop him? Of course. So, so also, but we are obliged when we are doing the sins, even if it's written on us, we are obliged to do the tawbah. Of course, like there's, we have to do it, even yeah. if it's written on us. Yeah. This is the thing. Because you never know what has been written except by doing the the action. Exactly. For example, now I'm sitting down yes. and I said, uh, if I said to you, look brother, go to work. He said, no, Allah has written the, the, the rest for me. <laughs> you know? I mean, look, even our daily life, no one should use the other of Allah as, 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 as a leeway. Yes. Now, if you go to the court and they say, you killed the person, you're going to say, you know, Allah decreed it. Ibn Khattab show us how to deal with this. No, Ibn Khattab, when a man came to him, he stole something and uh, they brought him to Umar to cut off his hand. And he said, Ya Amir al Mu'minin, why are you going to cut off my hand on, because of something that Allah has written for me? Uh -huh. Omar said, Oh, my son, why are you going to blame me for something that Allah, Allah has written for me to cut off your hand too? <laughs> you see? So if you're going to use a qadr, I'm going to use a qadr too. Exactly. You see? And no, if someone comes to rob you now, I said, Look, Sahi, Allah has written that I'm going to rob you. Are you going to say, Rob me? Or are you going to not say, Allah has written to, pre to protect myself? Yeah, yeah, right. That's it. So to be honest, Akhi, to be honest, certain things that we have to understand, these go back to Rububiya. What you ask is the Rububiya. And this is Allah's creation. Allah, like you said, you have no problem or you have no issues that Allah knowing something that will occur in the future. So for you to say no, but I have issues that he write it down, what you're doing, you should dictate to Allah, you say no. As long as you know it, it's okay, but don't write it down. Um, not, not in this way, what I no, mean, I'm saying, but, but that's yeah, the reality yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's boils down because you say. To be uh, honest, sorry, for me, I was like, why would he judge me if he's written this on me? That's that was the thing that yeah. uh, every time when I think of it, I say, I would be like, I'm Rashid. Yeah. Because like that's the door for the shaitan to come to say like, but this has been written for you. All the sins that you have committed, it's written on you. So. Uh, but how, why, but you why don't know why it's written. Go to hell for for these ones, and I say, I would be like, I'm Rashid, but I want to find the answer. Yeah, that's just which was of shaitan. Because why? And now as Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy upon him, wrote a book called Atta'iyya. He was responding to a Christian man who said, why God is going to punish me if God created me as a Christian? Mm -hmm. You see what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ibn Taymiyyah said, you, you never use this argument if someone comes to rob you. By telling, the, the, if the robber comes to you and says, okay, why are you going to judge me if God has written to rob you? Yes. Would you say, no, I'm going to accept it? Of course not. Same thing. Same thing. Happy with that? Thank you, brother. Alhamdulillah. What I would say to you, Akhi, there is some doubt. It's not a doubt. It's a wish -wish. You Understand? Yes. It's a wish yes. So like I said to you, remember this point. Yes. You have no problem Allah knowing something. Of course. Because it's unknowing. So now if Allah has written it, you have a problem with it. But you're going to say to yourself, why am I going to have a problem with Allah? Allah is my Lord. Yes. I'm a servant of Allah. Yes. I can't... He written on me. And I, yeah, written on me I'm the proof Allah is just, like I said, example I'm giving, I gave you. If someone comes to force you, yes. and I mean someone forced you, put a gun on your head to insult Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Now the question, insulting Prophet Muhammad is a cover, disbelief. You become a disbeliever. Nope. No, you become a disbeliever, yeah. Yes, yes, but if, if you put the guns on my head, yeah. So why Allah, yeah. so Allah is not judging you for this? If Allah is going to force us. Right. To show Allah is Adl. Right. You know, now if I'm sleeping, now I'll give you another example. To show Allah just, yes. 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 give me more and more. Give you an example, yeah. now if I'm sleeping, and I start insulting Allah, Insulting who Allah Jalla wa Ala would Allah judge me? Allah will not judge me because why? I'm not conscious. Yes. You see, but if Allah is forcing me, I, I, I've been forced. You to say it. I mean, no force. I'm not, now, if Allah is not Adl, because remember, Allah has written that will occur. Yes. You see, yes. so if Allah is going to judge us according to everything that has been written, then He will judge me for me insulting Him while I was sleeping. But I know Prophet Muhammad yes. told us that the, the pen has been raised. From different three types of people. One of them had naim hatta yastayqib, or kama qalay sallam. Someone who's sleeping until he wakes up. You see. Yeah. Now, if you, if uh, for example, imagine your mother is behind you, yeah. and you didn't see her and you slapped her, would Allah judge you for that? No. Allah will judge you because he didn't mean to do it. That's the first. The second and the third. The second what? Uh, like so, so three three types of people. The the the. the, the ah, okay, there are three. So the the, the one who's sleeping. Yes. Al majnoon hatta. The insane person 
the insane person until he becomes sane because he is he's mentally he's not there, you know? Yeah. So Allah will not judge him. Yes. Yeah. And the, the child until he right. reached the age of puberty. All right. That's why so Allah so there's many examples to show that Allah is Adl. Yes. That's what Allah said. Allah said, Do you know how Allah is just? So just, how to Allah, perfect justice. On the day of judgment, when Allah will judge people, people will say, Oh Allah, I'm not happy with the judgment. Allah asked him, How would you be happy with which judgment? I have to have witness and guess my own myself. Allah will make your hands and your legs to speak. Yes. And guess you. So the, the hands that you did haram and the, the, the your body will witness and testify and guess you. <laughs> <laughs> that shows you Allah just. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so we should. Amen. Barakallah. Thank you. Amen. You know, but there's a way to do with you. So I would be in But remember, we are the servant of Allah. Allah is our Lord. That you know what's happening now. This is a reminder to me and to everyone. Now I've noticed this. We live in an era that we want God according to our desires. For example, I was speaking to a young uh, uh, man. Uh, I said to him, listen, why don't you believe in God? He said, when I was young, my father passed away. So I said, okay, so you want to go, doesn't take your father away, yes? Okay. Whilst I was speaking to another guy, he said, I don't believe in God because when I was a child, something bad happened to me. Ah, uh, so you want God, that uh, nothing should happen to you. No. Allah is the, uh, remember, Rububiyah. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's why everyone is a Muslim. Yes. There's two of Islam, everyone is a Muslim. What does it mean? Everyone submits to Allah's law. Allah has laid down the law in the universe, no one can escape it. Yes. When the death comes to you, the queen has the be had the best doctors. Yes. When, the, when the death came to her, she had to submit to the, to the death. That's why Allah said, Lahu aslama man fi samawati wal ard. To him, what was on the, on the heaven and the earth have submit to him. What does that mean? Mean universally. Like if Allah wants you to make it rain, no one can stop the rain. You understand, Akhi? If Allah wants to bring the sun, no one can bring it down. And at the same time, wala faqulu aslamna. Faqulu amanna. It's about Arab. It's different thing. About Arab. So, Akhi, alhamdulillah, this issue of al-Qadr, many people misunderstand it because they have not understand the rububiyah correctly. When you understand the rububiyah, this is Allah's kingdom. And also, the example I've given you shows you. Yes, yes. Sorry, yeah. What you said? I've said in the first, but it's the opposite. I'm going to say the Arab. The Arab is the Arab. The 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 shahid is that when you, because me myself, when I start reflecting upon the shahid of Allah, I said, look how Allah is just. If I insult Allah while I'm sleeping, He will not judge me. If Allah is forcing us, you know, because He's written it, therefore we've been forced to. So what Allah is differentiated between this action and the action that shows you Allah written it doesn't mean it's forcing us. Because if if Allah has written the preserved tablet, necessitate is forcing us, therefore we should be judged for every action we do. But that's also certainly that we are going to do that. That's it. If it's written on us, we, we will do it. Yeah, but right, because you're going to do it. To do the tawbah. Yeah, for and example, now. written on us the tawbah to do it or not. Let me give an example. Now, if you're walking, if you're traveling to Iraq or to Algeria, there's one way leads you to destructive destructive place. And one way lead you to a peaceful place. You're not gonna say Allah has written for me to go to destruction place. So I walk. You know, what are you gonna choose? Which one are you gonna choose? The place which is peaceful place. Allah has written already. You see? But you have to use that, take the action. Barakallah. You know? Barakallah. You know? Barakallah. Wallahu ta'ala alam. And I finish with, I just remember the state of Ali bin Abi Talib. Ali bin Abi Talib said, Qadarullah sirrullah. The decree of Allah is Allah's secret. Allah has revealed some aspect that we know about. However, we know that Allah is adl, just, you know, and whatever Allah has decreed based upon justice and wisdom, you know, nothing has happened in this universe except there's wisdom behind it, you know, khayyuf. of course. The exact and even our people, you know, some people try to utilize Qadr to reject Allah. Some people try to reject the, the concept of evil, yeah, but even evil, it's something, khayyuf. yeah, but to use evil, Maybe to miss khair. Exactly. You know the, what, what the Arabs say? He say, Masaibu qawmin inda qawmin fawaidu. Yeah, calamity to some people, yes. to other people are beneficial. Uh, something beneficial. You see, subhanAllah. Yes. So this, all of these uh, arguments people try to utilize to reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a nonsensical argument. When you look down into it and it goes back to his words, it goes back to someone who has not understand al-rububiyya, wal-uluhiyya, wa asma' wa sifat. You know, subhanAllah.
بارك الله فيكم. ما الله جبر السيرتي. أنا ما الله مك أسحبون. بارك الله فيكم.